What's up everyone, Doyler here, and I'm back on the Flora account, this time to test her and the rest of the account out in Aspen Dungeon. So, gonna run Russ with a 2-2 split, Holy Attack Attack, and Glittery Antlers Cane with 2-2-3-2-2. I think that's the better play for the Antlers Cane. Um, I don't think it's gonna be as good on the Flora, I might be wrong about that. I could just run Spear of Destiny on the Russ. Um... I don't know what waves he beats with this these builds. Um, I've normally just run A and B or Crown Russ. Uh, yeah, the Spear of Destiny scares me, especially the aggressive enables as well. Um, so yeah, maybe we go more. Maybe we give him HP enable so he doesn't die while he's in the air, but we keep the Antlers Cane on him. Right now, Flora is geared 2-2. Two, two. She's got a Holy Attack Attack, Fearless, and 2-2-3-2-2. Two, 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 two. Gonna bring normal Penny setup with a Heavenly Bead, 1-3, Crit Crit Attack, 2-2-3-2-2. Two, two, three, two, two. Gonna bring a standard Tank Yield Horse, Block HP, DR Artifact, 1-1-3-1-2. One, 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 and bring in an E3 Garuda for Sacrifice, um, full 6-star. Um... Spear Rust is OP. I haven't run much Spear Rust. I see a Tark. Alright, so we're gonna run Spear Rust. Penny Antlers. Oh, right, because, yeah, that's better. Okay, that works. So, we're gonna run a Full Gear Rust with Sword and still those tanky enables. But we're gonna give Penny the Glitter Antlers. I don't know what waves this gives her over... Instead of Punisher. Uh, she should be comparable to Punisher. She's just missing out on the extra crit damage. Yeah, we're not going to send an ass, but we got the Sacrifice Karuda. Alright, so we got a Sword Russ. So he's far tankier. I'm less scared about his survivability now. I'm most interested about testing the 2-2 tanky Flora. How do we do? 7 DPs. Let's buy some stuff only for gold, because we have no gems. And we need those gems for dice on the off chance we get more. So Flora's ideal setup is going to be dual waves since she hits two targets with her basic and gains the damage resistance. Um, she'll also be fine against quad waves. Not going to be great against solo waves. So hopefully I'll get to test her against some good dual or um, quad waves. So Penny needs a DP here, I know. Let's try... I don't know if Flora can take 450 Adas, but it would be a cool test. I assume she just gets smoked. But I want to test her out. There are 450 Adas. She'll get a round 2 active. Yeah. Yeah, we could just show off the Rust too. I'm afraid that she'll die to the Adas and then we'll lose her. We'll, we'll try the Sword Rust. No DP. See if he can survive to his active. He can. Wow, alright. Sword Russ. I'm happy about that. Here we go. Vesa Ormus. This will be a good wave for our girl, Flora. <coughs> oh yeah, and it's also 345. Alright. Flora versus Healer Wave. Test 1. Should be a nice and easy clear. Perfect. Corpse Demon. We will send in a healed up Russ and see if he can maybe farm energy. I... I do not know enough about Corpse Demon. He lives for so long, all of my data points seem useless. Nope, he dies from the active. Oh yeah, I forgot we have Horus too. Alright, here we go. Dual Shia, Zero Energy Flora, test number two. Nice. So, unbending proct, but she ended with her active and zero energy. Can Russ get us some energy against a 450? Nope. She is way too tanky for that. Yeah, horse is a great first E5. Alright. This should be a nice and easy clear for our girl Flora. I don't think there's many ways Flora can clear without her active, but once she gets to her active, she'll smoke them.
Hmm, do I want to test Flora with a DP against this wave? I don't think she clears it without the DP. Yeah, I want to see what Flora DP does. I mean, I know DP Penny can clear this Kermit, but I'm more interested in showing off and testing Flora as much as possible without killing her. So DP Flora against 450 Asthma, Asthma, DA, DA. So she kills three. She gets a little bit stuck, but she will get DR from this. Ooh, can she farm energy? No. Oh, oh, oh. Flora got out with 100 energy. That was super dope. All right, I like that wave a lot. Um, RNG dependent on those petrifies and drains, so I wouldn't say she always comes out with 100 energy, but that was a, a fun little test. Um, everyone has zero energy. Yeah, we're mostly trying to show off the flora. Um, I think Rust needs 50 energy for this. I think Penny needs more energy. Can Horus do this? I don't use Horus against Salmon Ra anymore. I think you should be able to. Ever so slowly. Cool. Alright, Flora against the quad wave. She already has energy though. She should absolutely smoke this. I'm hoping she can not kill all four with her active and get some energy back though. That would be the, the end goal from this test. Can she end up with 100 energy? No. She ends up with zero. <laughs> Ooh. Can Flora do. There's no way Flora does this one, right? She has to get killed. We're just gonna send a penny. I don't want to risk Flora against this wave yet. Now we don't. Penny can clear this with a, a basic attack round one. No need to DP Russ. Let's just let's see if Russ can't get energy from this. <laughs> yeah, Penny exists. Nope. Oh yeah, the record on this account is also Death 13. So, Quad Wave with zero energy, so she'll get two basic attacks off, which will stack her passive. So watch this. We're going to turn to 1x speed. So she gets her passive, which gives her some more attack. And then she'll get another basic, which will give her even more attack, and she'll absolutely crush them with this active. Blue, 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 blue. So Laura, we know Horus can do this one. We're gonna skip it. So Horus, we'll just let Russ skip it. He'll end up with zero energy. Horus can do so. Oh, uh, we'll try Russ again. See if he can't get energy. If he gets lucky, I think he's gonna do too much damage though. Yep. All right. So four sixties on this account. No, no, what? Watch Horus. I don't want to watch Horus fight Amon Ra. It's a very boring fight. I don't think Horus can do Sigmund, can he? Oops. Can Garuda clean up his mess? <laughs> Either Garuda trash. All right. That's fine. We'll get fifty. Energy on Siggy. Oh no, we'll get a hundred. There we go. It was all a setup to get Russ energy. All right, floor against 460 double Sigmund with zero energy. She should kill with her active. I don't think she kills with her basics. Yeah, not quite enough damage to kill with those basics, but nice and easy clear. Here we go. This is a good wave to see how Flora does. 460 Valks. We're going with one DP. Can she do it? My guess is no, but it would be also she could. Nope, she's toast. All right. No luck. So 460 Quad Valks. She cannot do with one DP. That is it for the Flora test. Let's finish this off with the Russ and Penny. So where are we at? We got 460 double Adas. RIP Flora. You did what she could. Uh, Penny needs a DP. Russ needs a DP. Russ should be safer with one DP. Mm-hmm. 
Russ's active is going to kill them, unfortunately. I don't think they survive at all. Yeah. Bait testing? I mean, if someone has an account with an E5 bait, I can test them, but... I do not have one. <laughs> I can't just test any hero I want. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Can Penny do this one without a DP? I honestly don't know. I think she can. Swap horse for bait. Yeah, I mean, if you if you e five a bait, I can test it. Oh no, that was close. Can I do this on DPS? Should be able to. Oh no, she didn't kill the Valk. I thought she'd be fine. All right, Russell, clean it up and get energy. We'll just skip the rest of these waves since Russ will likely either clear them with a DP or not for most of them. Not getting death 50, but got some good testing out. Oh, and there it is. The double penny wave. Oh, man. Poor, poor Russ. Can he do this without energy and maybe tick them down? I assume not, but... Trying to avoid their passive somehow, yeah. Alright, so death 27, but we got some cool flora clears. Uh, wish he could have cleared Quad Valk with 1 DP, but not too bad. Some cool floor information. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see a few more E5 floor videos. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.